Hello everyone, welcome to another English class. Okay, class number three, class number three. Vamos a dar inicio. Okay, nice to see all of you. Very good. Okay, well, in the previous class, we had the we had the topic furniture. Also, we studied the simple present. So today we're going to remember. Vamos a recordar un poco. Eh, Hold on, hold on. Vamos a recordar un poco el tema. Furniture. Ok, también vimos las partes de la casa. Ok. ¿Alguien se recuerda cómo se decía eh, sala, por ejemplo? Living room. Living room. Living room. Very good. How do you say um, eh, dormitorio o recámara o cuarto? Bedroom. 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 Very good. Patio trasero. Patio trasero. How do you say that in English? Rear garden. Okay. Puede ser backyard. Backyard. Y jardín es garden. Backyard es patio trasero. Backyard. Bueno, usualmente las casas en El Salvador casi no tienen backyard. Bueno, en realidad ni algunos no tenemos ni garage. Pero, ok, en Estados Unidos es muy común el backyard. Very good. Ok, we're going to remember. Vamos a recordar los furnitures. Furniture. For example, what is this? Bookcase. Bookcase? Yes. Excellent. Bookcase. Very good. Also, we have this. Curtains. Curtains. Perfect, Miss Alicia. Yes, Alicia. All right. How about this? We have seen. Drawer, armchair, carpet, sofa, picture, rug, cupboard. Blinds. Excellent, blinds. Armchair. Armchair. <laughs> Drawers. Drawers. Yeah. Rug. Raw, perfect. Oh, what happened? Carpet, I'm sorry, it was carpet. Sofa. 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 Micah. Picture. 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 Very good, picture. Raw. Raw. Cupboard. 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 Sink. 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 And eventually? Carpet. Carpet. Very good. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to remember the house part. For example, what it is. Bedroom. 
I'm sorry? Bathroom. Bedroom. Bathroom. Ah, bathroom. Bathroom. Or shower too. Puede ser las dos. Bathroom or shower. How about this? Bedroom. 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 Excellent. Stairs. Stairs. Landing, stairs, both are correct. Closet. Closet? Bathroom. Wardrobe. Table. Table. Stairs. Steps, stairs, both. Sofa. Sofa. I'm sorry? Sofa. 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 Very good. The stove. Dove. 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 Cook. Kitchen. 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 Very good. Living room. Living room. Living room. Dining room, I guess. Dining room. Save. Share. Share. Here. Very good. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Very good. Bathroom. 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 Toilet. 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 Armchair. Armchair, yes. Library. Oh, it's done. Living room. Living room, perfect. Cupboard. Chess, drawer, okay. cupboard. Backyard. Garden, backyard, depende on the stairs. Sink. I'm sorry? Sink. Sink. Good. All right. Excellent job. Very good. Vamos a tomar la asistencia de este día. We need to take the attendance list. And we begin with um, Garcia Rosa. Rosa. Thank you. Garcia Vela. Garcia Vela. Solisto Bar. Meléndez Flores. Martínez Romero. Martínez Ancheta. Rosa. Mr. Christian, right? Yes. Martinez Ancheta. Rivera Rivera. Present. Thank you. Herrera Flores. Flores Martinez. Flores Martinez. 
Polanco Gutierrez. I'm here. Thank you. Serna Ruiz. Present. Thank you. Aquino Espinosa. Aquino Espinosa. Escobar Mejía. Here. Martínez Uribe. Mengíbar Sánchez. All right, well, eh, thank you very much. Vamos a recordar un poco el vocabulario de furniture. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures. Clock. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Lamps. Sofa. Desk. Bookcase. Dresser. Chairs. Mirror. Rug. Television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bedroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right. So there we have the vocabulary. Bien. Vamos a ir a la página page 44. Vamos a recordar un poco la lectura. Page 44. For example, it says, Linda, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's is what it what it like it's really beautiful is it very big well it has a big living room a small bedroom a bathroom and a kitchen where is it on lake we lake view right uh oh nice does it have a view yes it does it has a great view of another apartment building Okay, one more time. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's like it? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Oh, Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, alguna palabra que desconozcan el significado? Okay, well, we're going to practice this conversation for two minutes.
All right. Okay. Uh, let's see the conversation. We're going to listen to the conversation. Okay, read by you. And let's begin with Mr. Jose Ramon and Mr. Roberto Uribe, please. Okay. This, uh, guess what? I have a new apartment. Uh, That's great. Hello. That's great. Hello. <laughs> That's great. What is it like? Uh, uh, it's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bathroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lake on Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it uh, have a, a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. All right, thank you. Let's listen to Miss Fatima and Mr. Maximilian. Okay. What's what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Excellent. Okay, we're going to repeat, okay, uh, the word beautiful. 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 All right, a uh, living room. Living room. Living, living room. room. Living room. Okay, uh, let me see, bathroom. 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 Okay, excellent. Let's see Miss Alicia and Mr. Kevin Reese, please. We're going to listen to both of them. Where's what? I have an apartment. That's great. What is it like? What is like? It's a really big. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and kitchen. Where is it? Oh, Lakeview. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Termina la segunda parte. Hello? Yes, it it does. It have a great view of another apartment. Apartment, apartment. Apartment. Apartment building. Apartment building. Okay, good. All right, thank you very much for your participation. Okay, vamos a repetir nuevamente. Dice, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Oh, like a lake, lake view drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <coughs> okay, this part we already did. Okay, now we're going to see the use of there is and there are. Vamos a ver el uso de there is y there are.
Hold on, please. Vamos a ver el uso de there is y there are. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't, plus some or any or no, plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object, so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there, then the verb to be is, is. Um, on the example is contracted as you can see, there's. We will use the article a, the complement is bad in the bedroom. We're going to do something similar with the next example. There's no sofa in the bedroom. At the beginning of our sentence we have there. The verb to be is is. Once again on the example is contracted. Then we will use the article a because we are talking about a singular object. Finally we have the complement. Sofa in the bedroom. The last example, there isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative. Then we use the article a because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Now let's look at the right hand side of this chart. For these examples we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that formula. There plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. After that, the verb to be are. Next, we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs, in the kitchen. Our next example, there are no chairs in the living room. 
at the beginning of our sentence we use there after that the verb to be are next we're going to use no notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative and you can also say aren't any as well either one is correct uh, finally we have the complement chairs in the living room for our uh, last example there aren't any chairs in the living room we start our sentence with there next the verb to be aren't after that we're going to use any it's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we're making negative statements we can't say some for example finally we have the complement chairs in the living room now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment after you finish this task please share your work in our discussion forums all right so there we have the the introduction of the use of there is and there are tenemos un poco sobre el tema there is and there are y cuando es que utilizamos there is bueno there is que eh, se utiliza para singular y la referencia en español o la es hay que hay una casa there is a house ok y eh, cuando utilizamos there are lo utilizamos para el plural no va a decir hay dos casas there are two houses por ejemplo como decía la existencia en inglés está corresponde a la palabra hay o existe verdad there is o there are por ejemplo there is es singular para una cosa y there are o oh, y there are es plural más más de una que okay, más de un plural there are plural there is singular Okay, there is, there is, hay. Uh, se usa para expresar algo que alguien existe, singular. Okay, y there are, hay varios o más de uno. Se usa para expresar que muchas cosas o personas existen. There is and there are. For example, there is a dog in this picture. There is a dog in this picture. Ok, si fuera, si hubieran dos perros, ¿cómo dirían? Para plural. En ese caso sería, there, there, are, there are some dogs. There are some dogs or there are two dogs. Okay, here there are three birds in the pictures. Birds in the picture. Hay tres. Entonces, en ese caso, utilizamos. There are. There is not. Para la forma negativa, podemos decir there is not o there isn't. There isn't. ¿Cuál? ¿Por qué there isn't? Dicho? Porque there isn't es la forma reducida de there is not. Ok, there are not, no hay, o there aren't. Esta es la forma negativa del plural. No, no hay, there are not, or there aren't, there aren't. ¿Cómo creamos la pregunta? La pregunta solamente invertimos la posición y decimos, is there, I, are there, 
Y si es singular, is there o are there. Ok, también tenemos la expresión how many. How many es cuántos, pero eso ya es otro tema. Ok, how many. Ahorita vamos a ver más todo. Vamos a estudiar más. Nos vamos a enfocar en el uso de there is y there are. Dijimos que there is era para singular. Singular. Ok. Y, por ejemplo, para decir There are, lo utilizamos para plural. Plural, para hacer la negación. There aren't, um, there isn't. There isn't or there aren't. Very good. Okay. For example, many apples in the basket. There is or there are. There are. There are. Excellent. Here. There are. There is nobody. There is nobody. No hay nadie. No hay isla. There is. There is. There is a library in my school. Excellent. There are. There are. Excellent. There is. There is. There is a detective spying. There, there are. are. There are. There are two astronauts on the moon. There is. There is. There are there are there are there are there is 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 Ok, ahora vamos a ir a la página 47, page 47. Yo voy a hacer el ejercicio A. This one. Ok, vamos a hacer el ejercicio A y el ejercicio B. En el ejercicio A vamos a colocar, por ejemplo, aquí dice, I don't have a table in the bed. Entonces puede decir, there is, there is no table in the bedroom. I have some chairs in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Lo va a escribir de una forma diferente. En el ejercicio B, vamos a escribir cosas que eh, ustedes pueden ver. Por ejemplo, en el ejercicio 1, aquí en el A. Eh, there is a mirror in the bedroom. There are two pillows. There is a bed. Va a escribir lo que, lo que hay y lo que no hay en la, en la casa. Ok, page 47. Page 47.
having village.
ejercicio, ve si a eso ¿no? Un ejercicio, ve. Esperamos que lo perdí. <risa> la página, no sé cuál página es. Página 47. Aquí está. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Sí, Vaya, vamos a ver. ¿Qué hay en la primera habitación? En la, en la bedroom. ¿Qué hay? No hay. Hay tres sillas. Ah, es en la libro, digamos. Bueno, que hay. Diner, diner. No. Son los comedores. Solo son tres sillas en la kitchen, en la cocina. Ajá, son, digamos que es la kitchen, el living room, el bedroom. El bedroom. Ay, pero lo más visible son las tres kitchen, living room y bedroom. Ajá. Las ventanas, están selladas con, con pared de ladrillo, ¿no? <ríe> no hay ventanas, o sea, there are no windows, there are any windows. There is no, there are in any windows in that. There is there not a sofa in living room. There is a bear. There is two pillow. There is the rich. I know there are, I know there are two pillows. Yeah. Oración sería: There is a window in the living room, but there aren't any contains. Yes. Yes. There are pictures in the living room, but there is no room. Oh, there are no rocks. Uh -huh. There are some pictures. Uh -huh. And they are living room. There are pictures. Some. There are some some, some pictures. Uh -huh. But there aren't any roads. On the yes. floor. There, there is a lamp. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. There is a lamp in the living room, but there's no armchair. Oh, there's no desk. No, mire, ¿quién no traigo? Me dice. ¿Sabe cómo no? me lo están poniendo? Porque a dos cuadras cada vez. Sí. Ah, sí, está caro. Y lo que yo pregunté yo, dos cuadras me dijeron por una venta en la casa. Está bien, está bien. En Cristiano compré un dólar así. Cinco por el dólar. Sí. Sí. Encierra los números de la que se obtiene el mismo resultado. ¿Cuál ponemos? ¿El de armchair o desk? El escritorio. Uh -huh. 57 más 23. There is a lamp in the living room, but there isn't 
This. Yeah. This. Yeah. This. This. But there is a this. There isn't a desk in the living. Seis oraciones ya vamos ya. No sé cuántas más. Pongamos una de la cocina. There is a stove, stove in the kitchen, but there is an, a refrigerator. There is not uh, a refrigerator. Or oh, there is a. There is thing or there is there is not. There is not. Es lo mismo. Que una es la forma contractada y la otra es la forma. Uh -huh. Sin contractar. Contraction. Uh -huh. Ok. 32. Uh -huh. 32. 32. Uh -huh. 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 There is a house. Yo digo que ya es suficiente. Yo digo que ya es suficiente. Cuatro, cinco, siete. 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 Igual a esta misma cantidad, ochenta mil. Aquí dice, okay, no sé la que suma vos... de la que se obtiene el mismo resultado que 57 más 32. 57 más 32, 89. Ah, mucho tiempo. Ahí te dicho. Círculo. ¿No? Porque es la misma cantidad. Solo que aquí se suma 57 más 32. Hello. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you done? Yes. Yes. All right, well, now that you're ready to finish your exercise using there is and there are, okay, uh, I, I would like you, I would like to listen, I would like to listen to your sentences. Vamos a escuchar sus oraciones. Por ejemplo, I have some chairs in the kitchen. But there's no table. Okay. But there isn't a table. There isn't a table. There aren't chairs in the kitchen. There aren't chairs in the kitchen. In the kitchen, but there is no table. Okay. I have a stove in the kitchen. But there isn't a refrigerator. There is a refrigerator, okay? Here is stove in the kitchen. There, uh, there isn't a stove in the kitchen. There isn't. There, is no. there isn't. A stove in the kitchen. A stove in the kitchen. Very good. I don't have a refrigerator. There is no refrigerator. There is there no refrigerator. There isn't. Oh, there isn't refrigerator. I don't have curtains on the windows. There, there aren't curtains on, on the windows. Window. There aren't <laughs> curtains on the window. Very good. I don't have any rugs on, on the floor. There are any. There are any on the floor. All right. Good. Excellent. Ahora vamos a escuchar las oraciones que crearon. 
Ok. En los grupos, vamos a comenzar con... Hold on. Eh, van a escoger a un voluntario del grupo 1, Mr. José Ramón, Mr. Kevin o Mr. Roberto Uribe. Tell me. Ok. Vamos a ver. En la bedroom, there is a bed, but there, are, there aren't any chairs. In the living room, there is a lamp. I'm sorry? In the living room. Okay, in there, the living room? There is a lamp. There is a lamp. Let me see. Yeah, there is a lamp. Here you can see the but lamp. There is an uh, armchair, for example. But there is an, an armchair. Good. Excellent. Next. Mm, in the kitchen, uh, there are three chairs, but Good. there isn't a table. Excellent. In bedroom, there is a mirror. All right. In, in the living room, mm -hmm. there, there, there isn't a sofa. A sofa, very good. But there is a television. <laughs> television. Okay, there is a television. Very good. Very. Thank you very much. Now let's listen okay. to uh, Miss Alicia, Miss Fatima, or Mr. Maximilian. There is a TV in the living room, but there isn't a sofa in the bedroom. Okay. There is a window in the living room, but there aren't any contains. There is a bedroom, there isn't a table. There are some pictures in the living room, but there aren't any rugs. Right. There is a lamp in the living room, but there yes. isn't a desk in the living room. Exactly. Uh, there is a stuff in the kitchen, but there isn't a refrigerator. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. Good. There, there are some feature there is a lamp <laughs> excellent finish there is a stuff in the kitchen mm -hmm. but there isn't oh. a refrigerator I don't exactly. know if that... yes good excellent finish right yes good Okay, now let's move on to page 49. 49. And out there we have the reading. Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called 
Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, we're going to listen again in Hi, case everyone. there is in a this class, question. You'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, so there we have the conversation. La podemos encontrar en la página 49. Ok, por ejemplo, vamos, vamos a ver, después de tener la lectura, vamos a practicar la lectura y vamos a desarrollar el ejercicio A. El ejercicio A tiene que poner, there is a porch with a pink floor. Porch es como lo que se encuentra fuera de la casa, no sé cómo se dice en español. Un corredor. Corredor, exacto. Un corredor, porch. Ok, entonces va a completar, ¿qué hay? En la casa de Cisneros House y que hay en la casa de Lorraine Nelson's House. Ok, después de hacer la respectiva lectura. There we go. Here interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms pink are floor. green, pink, <laughs> and purple. Uh, there are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mr. Mrs. Cisneros house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisnero loves it. Okay? Yes. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American trade. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native 
American Tons, Caleb Owens. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invite visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mrs. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Latin American tradition. Okay. Dale. Ahorita, pero... Me perdí en la número dos. There are there many books or colorful there painting. Are colorful painting. Uh -huh. Hola. Sí, sí. Hola. Hola, hola. Escucha. Sí. Yo la escucho, Alicia. La tres. De, de, la tres sería there are there are many books. There are many books. Uh -huh. En la, ajá, en la segunda me perdí en la ocho. número dos oh, de, de Sandra no, es que se me fue la señal ah, de Sandra Cisnero ajá. There, are, are colorful, there are colorful paintings ajá. Y la tres, there are many books. Many books. Many books. Ok, mm -hmm. ya. Y ahí, um, Lorraine Nelson. Lorraine Nelson. Hogan. Sería everyday many books. There, there is, is a... Eh, no sé si logran ver donde dice traditional Latin American homes called lo, 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 no sé cómo pero dice Lorraine Nelson teacher from Arizona Ah, sí, sí, va, sí. Va. Y ahí un poquito más abajo dice It has three chairs Sería and there, there uh -huh. are There are Three chairs uh -huh. There are three chairs Ok There are three. Also, ahí there menciona are... two. Uh -huh. there, there are two beds on the floor. Esa sería la siguiente. Uh -huh. There are. There floor. are. Y la última que sobra es la que dice Good, good, good burning, burning stop. Sería there, there is a Good burning stop. Sería la cuatro. Okay. Good burning stop. Uh -huh. Y esta es There are no lleva sound. There are some colorful. No, so there are colorful paintings. Okay. There are colorful paintings. Three shirts. 
Si, si quieren, se, la, se las leo en, del 1 al 6 para ver si la logro copiar igual. Ok. La 1 es la que está ahí que dice: There is a porch with a pink floor. Ok. The second, there are colorful paintings. Mm -hmm. The three, there are many books. Mm -hmm. Four, there is a no sé si así se pronuncia. There is a wood burning stuff. Sí. And there are three chairs. And there are two beds in the floor. La tienen igual. Sí. Bueno. Yo creo que así es. Sí. Y teníamos que hacer el ejercicio B. About the push. Mm. No sé. Teacher. Coach. Hello, hello. Uh, we need to do the exercise B. Just exercise A right now. Okay. Did you finish? Yes. Good. Let's see group number two. All right, people. Let's see the conversation and also the exercise letter A. All right, it says, two special houses in American Southwest. Vamos a iniciar y cuando diga stop, okay, le vamos a dar oportunidad que lea otro estudiante. Vamos a comenzar con Miss Alicia. Alicia Beatriz. Are you ready, Miss? Okay. Tengo que lo primero ahí donde, donde llega la imagen. Sí, donde dice, every year. I'm sorry, in San Antonio. Okay. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house in the home of Sandra Cisnero. Mr. Cisnero is a Mexican American white girl. Writer. She is writer. Mm -hmm. She is famous for her interesting story. The house has porch with a pink floor. Stop, stop. The room. Stop. Okay. Uh, we need to reinforce sample. Uh, writer. Writer. Sin la W. Writer. Writer. Very good. Famous. F famous. 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 She's famous. She's famous. For her. For her. Interesting stories. Interest. Interest story. Interesting. Interesting. Stories. A story. Good. Okay. The Inter house. Interesting. The house. Okay. Uh, let me see, Mr. Roberto Uribe, please. The house. The house has a porch, white, a pink floor. With. With. With a pink floor. The, the rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful painting. Many others house near. Mr. Cisneros house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Stop, stop, thank you. Okay. okay. Miss Fatima, please. Some? Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisnero loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about nothing American mm, trip. I don't know how they pronounce Tribes. 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 Stop. Thank you. 
Continue, Mr. Maximiliano. Most people. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Excellent. Okay, just the pronunciation of call. Is it llamado? Call. 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 Exactly. American homes, calls, Huggins. Call Huggins. Oh. Good. Okay. Uh, there is a porch with a pink floor. There are? There are many books. There are many, I'm sorry? Books. Books. There, there are? There are colorful paintings. Colorful paintings, excellent. There is? A wood burning stuff. I'm sorry? A wood burning stuff. Excellent. There are? Three chairs. There are two beds on the floor. Okay, and can you please give me the last one? There are there are two beds. The two beds on the floor. Good. Excellent. All right. Well, vamos a ir directamente a las profesiones. What do you do? Cuando alguien le hace una pregunta, what do you do? Eh, digamos, estamos en una entrevista. Y le vamos a decir, what do you do for a living? ¿Qué haces por vivir? A veces le dice, I'm, I'm a lawyer. Soy un abogado. I'm a technician. Soy un, I'm a teacher. I'm a nurse. Okay, entonces vamos a ver las diferentes jobs. Jobs. Okay, trabajos. Ok, por ejemplo, tenemos cashier. Cashier. Okay. You know what cashier is? ¿Saben qué es cashier? Cajero. Cajero, muy bien. Tenemos cook o chef. Cocinero. Cook, cocinero. Ok. Doctor. 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 Ok, flight attendant. Hermosa. 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 Judge. Pues. Lawyer. Abogado. Musician. Música. Nurse. Enfermera. Pilot. Piloto. Police officer. Policía. Receptionist. Receptionista. Salesperson. Vendedor. Vendedor. Security guard. Guardia de seguridad. Singer. Uh, Cantante. Waiter. Mesero. Mesero. Waitress. Mesera. Mesera. Muy bien. Una vez más. Ahora sin, sin decirlo en español. Porque si no, okay. se va a confundir. Ok. Vamos a ir repitiendo. Cashier. 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 Cook or chef. Cook, cook, chef. Chef. Huh? Doctor. Doctor. Ok, ahí es como una A cerradita. Do doctor. 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 Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Judge. Judge. Lawyer. Lawyer. Musician. Musician. Nurse. Nurse. Pilot. Pilot. Police officer. Police officer. Receptionist. Receptionist. Salesperson. Salesperson. Security ward. Security ward. Tinger. Tinger. Waiter. Waiter. Waitress. Wait, Wait, ok, now we're going to try to solve the exercise. Vamos a tratar de desarrollar el ejercicio colocando la letra correspondiente donde ustedes creen que es 
lo apropiado. Vamos a comenzar con del, ya está hecho el 1, del 2 al 10. I'm finished. I finish. Finish. Okay. We're going to try to solve the exercise together. Vamos a tratar de resolverlo juntos. Number two, what it is? Number two, letter? Door. C. C. She is a doctor. Doctor. Three. H. Nurse. H. Nurse. H. Nurse. Four. Pilot. Pilot. Letter? A. I. 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 Letter I. Okay, good. Wait, what happened here? Five. Letter D. Letter mm. D, yes. Letter? Fly attendant. E? Fly attendant. Fly attendant. E or D? D. 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 Six. Letter G. Letter G. Musician. Musician. G. Seven. Letter N. Letter N. Singer. Singer. Mm. Eight. Letter judge. E. Letter E. Judge. 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 Uh, uh, no. Nine letter J. J. Police officer. Police no. officer. Police officer. In ten. Letter, letter F. F. Lawyer. F. Lawyer. 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 Very good. Lawyer. Okay, good. Eleven. Letter B. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you have one minute to finish from eleven to sixteen. No, two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. Eleven. Letter B. It is. Letter B. Letter. 
Okay, what is his profession? He is chef or cook. A chef, chef. or a cook. cook. Well, letter O. Letter O, it is a waiter. Waiter N thirteen. Letter B. A waitress, waitress right? Yes. Fourteen. Letter L. Salad L. Person. Salad Salad person. person. Fifteen. Letter A. Cashier. 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 Sixteen. Letter Security. N. M. Okay, good. Four. Four. Excellent. Ok, vamos a completar el ejercicio A. Van a, van a contestar qué profesiones hay dependiendo del lugar. Por ejemplo, en a hospital, we have doctor, we have nurse. Eh, in, a, uh, in an office, en una oficina, ¿qué profesión está ahí? In a store, in a hotel, ¿qué profesiones podemos encontrar? Okay. In an office, uh, security guard. Security guard. A secretary. A secretary. Um, lawyer. 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 Okay, lawyer. lawyer, yeah. Manager. Manager. A manager. An office yeah. worker. No. Okay, in a store, what can we find in a store? Cashier, cashier, cashier. salesperson, salesperson, uh, security guard, security guard, and buyers, <laughs> lawyers, buyers, the salesperson, 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 good. Okay, in a hotel. Receptionist. Receptionist. Uh, security guard. Security guard. And mm. I don't know how to say buttons. <laughs> what uh, what, what uh, could it be the profession of the botones? Botones. Ah, lo que, lo que normalmente le llevan el equipaje. <laughs> how would you say that in Spanish? Uh, botones no botones sé. no no sé he visto muchas series y así lo dice uh, I don't know how to use this uh, el que va en ascensor también el, el que dice el level el level ah no me va el nombre elevator elevator pero no elevator operator Something that. <laughs> Veamos. How do you say botones in Spanish? Ah, it says bellboy. Bell boy. Bell boy. B e l l b o y. B e l l b o y. Yeah, we have manager in a hotel. We have manager. Bell boy. Receptionist. Receptionist. Housekeeping. Las que hacen la limpieza. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Uh, a ballet parker. Ballet parking. Excellent. Okay. Okay. In the conversation, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's an a front desk agent. El front desk también se conoce como recepcionista. He's a front desk agent. How does he, how does he like it? 
Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What, a, what hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do, actually? He's the, he's the manager. Ok, le está diciendo que le cae mal el gerente y el otro dice que hermano es el gerente. Alguien se va a quedar sin trabajo. Yeah, someone will be fired. Ok, good. Ok. We're going to practice this short conversation. Manager. Bellboy.
Okay, well, now after you practice with your classmate, it's time to read it. Okay, let's begin with Miss Alicia and Mr. Jose Ramon. Okay. Uh, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother worked in a hotel too. He's a from this agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's so bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother worked there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actu actually, he's the manager. Very good, excellent. Okay, the manager. Good. And now, Miss Fatima and Mr. Roberto Oribe, please. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in the hotel too. He's a front desk agent. Oh, that does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thank. Oh, that is interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Excellent. Okay, just we're going to reinforce. Vamos a, how do you say? Reinforce. Uh, reforzar. Okay, la pronunciación de agent. Una e. Agent. Desk agent. agent. Can you repeat after me? Desk agent. Desk, Desk agent. agent. Interesting. 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 Manager. 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 Actually. 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 Very good. Okay, Mr. Kevin Ruiz and Mr. Maximiliano Edgardo Escobar Mejia. Where does your brother work? Okay. In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. Not funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Excellent. All right. Very good. He oh, decía. Hold on, please. All right. Well, uh, we're going to listen the pronunciation of the, the professions before to leave and the irnos. Para que quede. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. She's a doctor. 3. She's a nurse. 4. He's a pilot. 5. She's a flight attendant. 6. He's a musician. 7. She's a singer. 8. She's a judge. 9. He's a police officer. 10. He's a lawyer. 11. He's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 
Fourteen. He's a salesperson. Fifteen. She's a cashier. Sixteen. She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night. Writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, there we have the pronunciation and some examples how we can use the professions and the places. Okay, now I need to take the attendance list. Okay, here we go. Uh, Garcia Rosa. Present. Garcia Vela. Solis Tobar. Melendez Flores. Melendez Flores. Martinez Romero. Martinez Ancheta. Rivera Rivera. Herrera Present. Flores. Thank you. Herrera Flores. Flores Martinez. Polanco Gutierrez. I hear. Thank you. Serna Ruiz. Es Aquino Espinosa. Escobar Mejía. I'm here. Martinez Uribe. Present. Menjibar Sánchez. Okay, well, see you next Monday. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. Bye-bye. See you next bye. week. See you next week on Monday. Don't forget it. Yes. yes. Okay.